Good morning! <laughs> Came here with Native Lady Bookwear. So today, I'm going to be vlogging pretty much all day. And I'll be vlogging my time at the Tucson Festival of Books. Of course, I am running late. So I'm trying to hurry up and get there. The first discussion I want to make it for is um, author Juhia Kim. And she wrote Beasts of a Little Land which I absolutely loved. I got an ARC from Libro Books for an audiobook. It was just amazing, completely amazing. So I'm trying to hurry up and get over there. There's nowhere to park, obviously, right? My husband, he just dropped me off. He was like, have fun. I'll see you later. I was like, okay, bye. I made it <laughs> oh gosh that was like half running half walking they won't allow me to bring my coffee in so I have to slam this whole thing before I get in there but I made it there's seats left so uh, <laughs> I was stressing out I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna make it but I made it so I shall see y'all later bye So I just finished the author session um, and it was a debut author session. I didn't, I've heard of two of the other authors in that session. I've seen their books in the bookstores. It was really awesome. Just hearing Jahea Kim and just her writing process and how even her own family history fed into the book and it was just really awesome. So they're doing uh, book signing sessions with the author. But I just read on my agenda, so my next session is going to be um, an author session that includes Angeline Boley. So of course, Angeline Boley wrote Firekeeper's Daughter, which is a YA, and I, I just read on my, my little paper, it says that I have to be there 20 minutes early. So I was like, what? <laughs> So now I can't even get my book signed with Juhia Kim, but I, I think I saw her later. She's doing another session tomorrow, so maybe she can sign my book then. So yeah, as you can tell behind me, there are a lot of people here. I mean, even though this festival, it's supposed to um, mandate everyone to wear a mask, but of course not everybody is wearing a mask. So it's kind of like, oh gosh, like I don't even, there's so many um, vendors like for, indie book publishers and just souvenirs and there, there's just all kinds of stuff going on here um they even have like a whole children's section with like literature and just all kinds of stuff so i'm just i don't i don't really know um how much time my whole schedule is full today <laughs> so i thought i was gonna spend today going to a lot of the vendors but the the authors that i have scheduled are almost all back to back and i have to be there early to catch a seat and to just make sure I'm there and I'm following um, the COVID protocol in order to attend these talks with the author so yeah so it's going good so far so all right let's go this panel playing thrillers and the dangers of secrets will end in one hour please save your questions for the panelists until after all of them have spoken we'll have 15 or 20 minutes for Q&A hi everyone so I just ended my session of author Angeline Boley. Angeline Boley, Angeline Boley, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> she is so cool. Um, I think just her talking about what really inspired her to write the book and then also kind of like how her growing up didn't see a lot of indigenous representation 
in books and what she read or she said she saw representation in books that were very racist and stereotypical and a lot of stigma so I thought it was really cool she addressed that and so they're signing books for um, her right now and I she actually came up to me she was like I, I freaked out she was like hi it's nice to see your friendly face I was like what yeah so it was it was really cool she came up to me before the whole session started I should have mentioned that first but it was really cool she's like yeah it's really good to see a friendly face here how are you doing and I'm like I didn't even know what to say <laughs> I thought I was like is she really talking to me but it was really cool but I was like whoa that's awesome so right now I'm actually headed to another session I haven't even visited any of these booths or gone book shopping yet I don't even know when I'm gonna do that but the next author session author panel that I'm going to um, is with David Hesco Wombly Wyden so David Hesco Wombly Wyden wrote winter counts which is a crime thriller Oh, is it's a good book, heavy book, lots of content warnings, especially for that book. So uh, I know sometimes I recommend books and I forget to talk about content warnings, but definitely check out the content warnings for those for that book for Winter Counts. But it is incredible just to see how at the end of the book you're just like, whoa, that's why it's called Winter Counts, or that's why there's a why the book cover looks like that so it's it's really cool how he ties up a lot of things and also kind of talks about um, jurisdictional complexity within indigenous communities within the United States which Angeline does well too but in a YA book so yeah there's a lot as you can see there's a ton of people here so I'm all like in a section where nobody's at so I'm taking off my mask for a little bit but I'm about to put this back on and head to the next area and I don't even know where to go um, that's why I kind of ran away so I can figure out where the next author panel is at so I can not be lost running around here so yeah I'll talk to you guys later hi y'all I got lost <laughs> I was going the completely opposite direction and I got lost so the next discussion that I'm headed to is a ticketed event and I was able to, to get tickets so I looked at the schedule I was like wait let me check my email to make sure that I'm even able to attend this event and I got I guess they sent me the tickets a couple days ago so I lucked out but of course I ran into a tent and sulky Gonzalez was signing a book and I'm like <gasps> So Solchi Solchi Gonzalez is the author of Olga Dies Dreaming which I read and loved. It is such a good book. I encourage you all to read it. But they said she's gonna be signing tomorrow. So I'm just gonna wait and hopefully I'll be able to catch her tomorrow. So yeah, everybody was it was interesting so I actually had some subscribers recognize me and they're like you're not gonna get a book signed by Angeline Bully Angeline Bully and I was like no actually because I already have a signed book by Angeline Bully and I got it from native owned by indigenous author Louise Erdrich and she owns a bookstore called Birch Bark books. I don't think they have all the indigenous authors signed books, but like the other day I was on Instagram and um, Wabgishik Rice who wrote, oh my gosh, I can't remember the book, Moon of the Crusted Snow. So Wabgishik Rice is an indigenous author and I think he was dropping off signed books at Birch Bark books. So Birch Bark books, definitely check it out. I buy books from there. That's where I got my signed copy of um, Firekeeper's Daughter. So yeah, I'm gonna go get in line for this next discussion because I see a line here. So I think I'm at the right place. I'm gonna go find out. Hi everyone, so I just finished 
a session with David Heskel Wombly Widen. Whoa! It was really, really cool. There was like there's this really delicate balance between him talking about the realities of indigenous communities like poverty and substance abuse and but also um, him talking about how all those situations are also especially when it comes to um, criminal jurisdiction and the major crimes act and we need an Oliphant fix people <laughs> but anyway um, just him talking about how there's the federal government in the United States criminal justice system is failing indigenous people so to hear him talk about that and then also how some of the uh, writing and the characters and even some of the plot was inspired by also real native things that have happened in indigenous communities so I thought that was really cool and just it was it was cool I, I <laughs> I really wanted to have him sign anything because he's just so really, really, I mean, he's just a storyteller in real life too. So it's pretty awesome. And I know that Michelle from Thor wants another letter. I know they are going to be like, what? You got to see David Haskell Wilby Layden, Wyden? Because Michelle is such a huge fan of um, Wyden. So um, sorry, Michelle. I wish I knew about this sooner. I would have, I would have bought you a book and had you sign. But of course, I'm headed to another event. Um, so this next event, I'm actually going to listen to Jake Skeets. So Jake Jake Skeets is the author of Eyes Bottle Dark and a Mouthful of Flowers. So I really don't want to miss that one. And it says here I have to be early in order to make that that discussion from uh, Jake Skeets as well so I don't want to miss it I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even really engaging in the festival that is going on and raging around me I just been going from author panel to author panel so but maybe I'll have hold on I'm going a bunch of people here as you can see probably around me there's like tons of people and I don't know if I want to stay here the entire time because even though the event is outdoors, I mean, I think I saw earlier that you're supposed to be wearing face masks and there's not a lot, whole lot of, I mean, there's definitely a lot of people here not wearing face masks at the author event. So if you go into and you're going to go into a panel and you want to listen to an author, even if it's at an outside tent, it's mandatory. You have to wear a mask. They have people like volunteers in front of each event inside each event tent or like my last the last panel that I went to was inside a university lecture hall in the and they have volunteers in there telling you you have to wear a mask you can't come in unless you're wearing a mask you can't be eating or drinking in here but I was trying to bring a coffee into the tent they're like no you can't bring that in here because if you're gonna be drinking coffee you're gonna have to take off your mask. So they're like, nope, we can't bring that in. So I, I love that. I am gonna show you the book signing lines and I'm not in line, I'm just gonna show it to you. So here's book signing lines. The authors are all in the tent. The lines go all the way that way. I also saw another line. I don't know which author it was, but the line was going from like, I don't know, it was huge. It was a really long line. I was like, is this the line for food? And they're like, no, this is a line for such and such author. And I was like, oh my goodness. If you want food, oh. uh, you can get food really fast in the Union Village. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we were there yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> cool, got a tip from a volunteer. He said, don't get food out here, get food in the Union Building, which is where all the college students that go here get food. So I'm really excited. As you can see, I'm gonna show you the author signing tent. So this place is filled with authors. I mean, it's all in alphabetical order. I'm not gonna have time to go get author signatures because I just really wanna hear like these, the authors that I've um, picked in this schedule just talk about, especially about their writing process and what inspires them and so I'm just, that's what I've been focusing on. So I brought only two books to get signed. I only brought um, 
eyes bottle dark with a mouthful of flowers and I also brought healer of the water monster um, by Brian Young so I'm hoping to get those two books signed by by those two authors and I'm like crossing my fingers that I don't know I'm gonna probably have to sacrifice like going to an author panel session so I don't know we'll see what happens but Brian Young I don't think I think he has a panel going on today but there are so many panels going on at the same time so I think I missed his panel for today so I will talk to you all later and I'll see you later bye Yad A allow me to introduce myself in Navajo first Yad A a Matthew Jake Skeets and Inche, Sinan Jenny Nishlin, Twelve Hundred Bushes Chin, Tkashini Dash Che, Do Twitter Gojan Dash Nun. So I'll be reading sort of in between Eyes Bottle Dark with a Mouthful of Flowers, and then I'll be reading actually a uh, new work. <clears throat> so this poem is called American Bottle. This beer turns into another before a fist and a fist and another fist to the face, pale and blue. They held each other the night before, before pushing away. Boys only hold boys like bottles. Such a terrible beauty to find ourselves beneath things. Such a terrible beauty to witness men ripen. This town will kill you. Steel talons thread raw wool into sidewalks. Ruins shard stuck in asphalt shimmer. Hazy red evening in smog heat. Bulbs burst white and blue balloons at the downtown carnival. Fires set in alleys. There are a thousand ways to hear sirens from the bottom of a pool. I'm actually going right now to get this book signed by Jake Skeets because there's no other author panels that I have um, to attend or anything. I'm, I'm actually done. <laughs> I'm probably going to wander around the, just the, um, some of the tents and book sales that they have going on. The author of the, this book, he did a poetry reading and he read some of his new work and it, wow. It just blew me away. It was so incredible and I was so honored to be in that space. It was awesome. So I'm about to make my way to go get my book signed by Jake Skeet. So I'm really excited. So uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Yay! So I got my book signed by Jake Skeet. And even though um, he also took a selfie with me, that was pretty awesome of Jake to do that to take a selfie with me uh, I don't know if I'll stay very long I kind of wanted to check out some of the indie authors and they also have like a book store here where all the books that you purchase will go towards the festival because right now it's free you don't have to pay to come here you can just come and as long as you reserve your tickets and get there early enough to listen to the author speak, it's free too. So I think that's pretty extraordinary. So I'm gonna see if I can find any books here that I can purchase that I don't have yet or that I don't have an arc of. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
So here's the book by Juhia Kim that I was talking about earlier. So um, Beast of a Little Land is a historical novel that takes place and spans like 60 years. It's really good. It's a really good book. I got I was fortunate enough to get an arc of this book again from Libro FM. So I suggest y'all check this one out too. Really good read. Got some music going on. There's some small publishers. Man, this place was so busy earlier. Wow. <laughs> so I asked my my hubby to come pick me up. And I was like, hey, I'm ready to get picked up. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Stop. He's all dancing outside the car. But yeah, I asked him to come pick me up. I was like, can you come get me? I'm ready to get picked up. And he was like, yeah, sure. And um, <laughs> uh, my phone died. And I was like, ugh. I was gonna show you some of the campus and it's really really cool but eh the phone deadified so right now um, we are going to go eat cuz believe it or not folks I didn't eat anything today the only thing I had was the coffee that you all saw like at the beginning of the vlog um, that I had to slam really quick cuz I wasn't allowed to bring it into the um, author's panel tent so I haven't ate all day. What time is it, love? Uh, 6.30. It is 6.30. I haven't ate nothing. Um, I'm surprised I'm not about to fall over. Um, maybe because I'm just running on adrenaline <laughs> right now. Because I was just so excited to just see and hear authors, hear what they had to say. It was really fun. It was cool. Um, tomorrow, though, I know yet, um, earlier in the vlogs I was telling you I can't wait to go see this author, this author. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I totally forgot that tomorrow, which is March 16th, 16th our where we live, we're um, 13. 13. Is it 13? 13, yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Today's Sunday. Tomorrow's um, Monday. Oh, wait. Today's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday, the following day is Monday. And I didn't take that day off. I have to work on that Monday. And we're all the way in Tucson. We have like how many hour drive ahead of us? Seven hours. Seven hour drive ahead of us. So <laughs> I can't stay for the whole thing. What was I thinking? Like, yeah, I'm going to stay for like all the way until five o'clock. No, I can't do that because we didn't take the days off. Um, so we're going to leave like in the afternoon, probably about noon. So I'm probably only going to go over there for the morning. Um... I don't think I'll be able to to make the author any panel discussion because they kind of start late. They start at like 9.30. Um, so I might just go over there, maybe take a look at some vendors, especially the small indie author publishers and authors um, <coughs> and just see what kind of books uh, are there. And then we'll head back home. So yeah, so this might be probably my only full day vlogging home huh? yeah cuz we have to get home this vlog might end pretty soon <laughs> even though I've been chatting and just talking all day about stuff but maybe yeah tomorrow maybe in the morning I'll just take you to see some uh, vendors and then just end my day I don't know maybe I can continue the vlog and you guys can follow us home <laughs> for our seven hour trip and I'll just make it whoop, like real fast like yeah so okay we're gonna go eat so talk to you later good morning everyone so ah oh, I just <laughs> I know I did say that I was probably gonna go back to the festival of books uh, here in Tucson on Sunday but honestly I don't think I have time it is 9 39 I think authors talk starts at 10 or 9 30 we're trying to pack up and then we also have a seven hour drive ahead of us and then our Half of our kids have school tomorrow. Half of them are on spring break. And I have work tomorrow. <laughs> and there's something very interesting happened like at midnight. So Arizona goes through this time change. So part of Arizona is mountain daylight time. And the other part of Arizona is Pacific. So yeah, we have like two time zones in Arizona. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going back to the book festival. I think maybe next year <laughs> I should just end up planning to stay for 
until Monday so I can attend the whole entire book festival. But yeah, I didn't fly here. We drove here. We'll be driving basically all day today. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed what I was able to vlog. And so yeah, I hope, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, 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 oh